New year, new you. I hope so. However, the reality is for most people, they're going to set New Year's resolutions that they unfortunately just don't hit. Over 90% of people don't reach their New Year's resolutions. So I'm going to give you some ways that you can set some goals and resolutions that are going to hit. First, forget resolutions. I don't even like that word. The reason being is a resolution is just an idea. It's a, It might be a good idea, but there's no power behind it. And it's not... It's too vague. You can't measure it. So what I want to do is I want you to set goals. A goal is how much by when. It's specific. It's measurable. You can see either I reached this goal or I didn't. For instance, a resolution might be, hey, I want to feel good this next year. That's that's too vague. How can you measure that? Whereas a goal would be I want to weigh, for instance, 175 pounds by January 31st, 2021. That's a goal. By the January 31st, I'll either weigh that weight or I won't, but at least I'll know if I if I reached my intended goal or not. So I'm going to give you some steps right now to make your goals a reality. First, get a pen and paper and write out my 2021 goals. And I, I'm saying write them out and as opposed to typing them. The reason being is when you write something out, it uses... I believe about 150 muscles, whereas you, when you type something out, it uses around 20 something muscles. So when you're writing something out, you're, you're impressing upon your subconscious this idea far greater than if you were just to type it out. So I want you to write out goals for your health, goals for your recreation, you know, what you want to do during your free time, relationship goals, financial goals, and career goals. So goals pretty much for every major area of your life. At least set one goal for every area of your life. And again, a goal is how much by when. So it's got to be measurable. That's step one. Step two, for every goal that you write, I want you to, I want you to write out a, an affirmation for each goal. What is an affirmation? An affirmation is just a declaration that something is true. For instance, I could affirm that the sky is blue. That's my affirmation that the sky is blue. What I like to do with my affirmations is, let, going back to that goal of 175 pounds, I like to make affirmations that rhyme, that are really descriptive, so that I can remember them. For instance, I'm feeling strong and alive at 175. That's an affirmation to, to back up the goal of me being 175 pounds by January 31st, 2021. So for every goal that you wrote out, write out an affirmation. Then, this is where the rubber meets the road where you're really going to impress these ideas on your subconscious. Why do you want to impress a goal on your subconscious? Because over 90% of what you do is subconscious. You go to work the same way every day. You put your pants on the same way every day. You brush your teeth the same way every day. So you want ideas of success, of wealth. You want your ideas about what you're going to do in 2021 impressed on your subconscious. So your subconscious will go to work and manifest them in your life. What most people are doing is they're using willpower. Willpower is great for the short term, but if you, let's say a person has an idea in their head of them being overweight, they have a subconscious idea, and so they start to use willpower to try to make themselves go to the gym, they're in essence fighting against themselves. What they need to do is form a new image of them being healthy, focus on that every day, see it and feel it, and this idea will be impressed on their subconscious, and it's as if they put themselves on autopilot for success. Yes, they'll still have to go to the gym, but they won't be fighting themselves anymore. It'll become normal and natural and routine for them. So what I want you to do is this brings me to the next step. Actually, I'll get to it. We'll do it right now, and then I'll, I'm going to switch the steps around a little bit since I'm already discussing it. Every day, I want you to read your goal, say your affirmation, and then visualize the end result of your goal and feel it. Feeling is the secret. The more feeling that you that you have for every goal you show yourself as being complete, the faster it gets impressed on your subconscious and the quicker it manifests in your life. So goals, affirmations, then feel the end result. And I, I want to say something right now. Emil Coué, the famous French psychologist who coined the term every day in every way I'm getting better and better, he used to say that imagination is greater than willpower. Going back to that internal conflict that I was discussing a moment ago, don't rely on willpower. Rely on your imagination and press these ideas through your imagination into your subconscious and let them manifest in your life. So after visualizing the end result of your goals, I want you, you can do this 
at any point after writing out your goals, you're going to do a pain pleasure exercise where we're going to link up massive amounts of pain to your, to not achieving your goals and massive amounts of pleasure to achieving your goals. Your subconscious is a pleasure seeking organism and it's a problem solving mechanism. And I'll get into the problem solving in a moment, but it's designed to keep you safe. It wants to avoid pain and experience pleasure. So if you link up for it that not achieving your goals is painful and achieving your goals is is pleasurable, it's going to go to work to make this to make your goals a reality in your life. So what I want you to do is write out after you have all your goals written out, what is all the pain I'll feel by not accomplishing my goals? Again, what is all the pain I'll feel by not accomplishing my goals? And I want you to really list out all of the pain, how much it'll suck, how much it'll cost you. Really make yourself feel bad. Write out nonstop for three to five minutes, but at least three minutes, write out all the pain you'll feel by not accomplishing your goals. Then I want you to shake yourself off so that you're back into a neutral or positive state. I want you to write out the following. What is all the pleasure I'll feel by achieving my goals? Again, what is all the pleasure I'll feel by achieving my goals? And write out nonstop for three to five minutes all the pleasure you'll feel by accomplishing your goals. This is going to associate for your subconscious massive amounts of pleasure to achieving your goals, massive amounts of pain to not achieving them, and it's going to put you on autopilot for success. It's a great secret that allows you to get leverage on yourself, so to speak, and you'll you'll get to work and you'll get better results, far better results than you've ever gotten before. And lastly, I had mentioned that you're your brain is a problem solving organism. Ask yourself questions as you're going throughout this next year as good things happen. Celebrate your successes and tell yourself, how does it get better than this? How can I be even more successful than this? How can I get even better results than this? And you could actually even do this every day. How does it get better than this? How can I do better than this? And write out the answers to your questions. And you can do this daily and you'll come up with some amazing solutions to the problems in your life. But in closing, the main thing I want you to remember is imagination is greater than willpower. See and feel the end results of your goals every day. Constantly and bombard your subconscious with positive images of you doing well, of you of you succeeding. The end result, show yourself the end result of what it is you want. So remember, goals, affirmations, visualizations, feel, see it and feel it. And then obviously do the pain pleasure exercise. You're going to have a greater 2021 than all of your previous years combined.